Buenos dias from Guatemala. I'm Alicia, and this is Nate, and we're the Passport Couple. After exploring Guatemala for two weeks, we're now taking on our hardest adventure yet. We'll be attempting our first overnight trek of Vulcan Akatenango. This steep hike will take us up to elevations over 3,500 meters in just a six-hour period. The goal is to see a neighboring volcano, Fuego, erupt. Oh my gosh, guys, that was so awesome! <laughs> By all accounts, this will be one of the most difficult hikes we'll ever do. And because of that... I'm nervous. I don't know if I can do this. I'm super nervous. I'm so nervous. I don't know if I can do this. Bye, bag. <laughs> Good evening. We are about a little over 12 hours from starting one of the most strenuous hikes and any physical endeavor we've ever done together tomorrow. It's such a big deal actually that we have to go to a briefing tonight before we take the trek tomorrow. So that's where we're going right now. I honestly feel pretty good. We are leaving tomorrow at 7 and I know it's going to be hard, but I definitely think we can do it. Right now we've got to go get some water, some snacks, and cash to pay for this venture. And some rest. Yeah, and it's like 6 already. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm nervous, but we got this. It'll be good. Physically prepared? Eh. Mentally prepared? Probably not. Packed? Yeah. We got that? <laughs> wish us luck. Like, seriously, this time, wish us luck. I'm nervous. I'm already, like, nauseous. Which is a sign of altitude sickness. I have moved five feet. Fortunately, these treks are so popular in Antigua that the hotels are nice enough to allow us to store our luggage while we climb a mountain, risk our lives, and then hopefully we get back tomorrow to reclaim it. And we're here. Morning, Lonzo. Hey. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Okay, time to pack our backpacks. We have 60 liter backpacks and have to bring our sleeping bag, a piece of the tent, our sleeping mats, and all of our personal items, including water and snacks. Yeah, and camera gear. <laughs> Let's do it. I feel like a new girl with Jess, where I'm just gonna be like, <laughs> I'm just. Loading up the shuttle, we only had to carry the bags for like five minutes. So we're starting really slow, and now we're heading to breakfast. Alicia did not finish her breakfast, which is uncharacteristic. I'm super nervous. I got like those first day of school jitters. It's just like butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> I don't, but it's okay. <laughs> We're here. Already much colder. What up here? What up here? Okay, we got our walking sticks, backpacks, cameras. I think we're ready. I'm so nervous. Yeah. 
30 seconds in. How are you doing? Terrible. <laughs> it's pretty tiring, huh? Yeah. I don't know if I can do this. Bye, bag. <laughs> we're at the very beginning of our Akatenango trek. We're going through the farmlands first, which is about an hour to an hour and a half. And it is the hardest part. Just avoided a landmine. But already breathing pretty heavy, as you can hear. So we decided to get a porter for Alicia, which is basically someone who carries your bags up. And then maybe even down, depending upon if you want them to. And it's 200 quetzales each way. So we have already gained enough ground for incredible views. And when you turn around, you can see we're going to be heading up to the cloud forest. Feels like really soon because it's just covering the entire sky. You can't see anything already. First break point, I get to get rid of this literal monkey off my back. This thing is a beast. I'm so happy for this break. It's nice, isn't it? I need some water. Water? And just look back and it makes it worth it. It's beautiful. We have friends joining us, at least for a little bit. <laughs> The first stop has a little coffee shop where you can get food, water, coffee, obviously. And we were told that as you get higher up the mountain, prices get more and more expensive, which I can understand and makes sense. How are you doing back there? is the registration which everybody climbing the mountain has to do and you just turn it into this little registration office i personally think it's like a secret like blanket waiver form in case we don't make it yeah. <laughs> not sure i believe the hardest part is over yet On the third leg now, it is pretty much constant switchbacks. Just back and forth, back and forth. Not too bad. We're still in the forested area here. There's total tree coverage keeps it nice and shady and blocks the wind, which is nice, but the ground doesn't dry up. So it is still a bit wet and slippery. I haven't bought into the fact yet that these switchbacks are any easier. <sighs> I can see our breath a lot because it's so damp up here. <laughs> Just happy that we have Johnny and Jake with us and Alonzo keeping us company. Very slow pace, but we're making it. My hip is starting to hurt. So hopefully I can get some ibuprofen next time. Wow. Look at that. I can't believe we've come this far. Yeah. I know you're right. Hi, right. look at coffee. Oh, yay. We're gonna get some hot cocoa. It's 10 quetzales per glass. We're just making it on this little wood fire. Oh, 
cheers in like five minutes because yeah, it's really hot. <laughs> Our guide Alonzo told us that Oreos are really good in the hot chocolate. We only have two packs of Oreos, so we're just going to use our oatmeal cookie things. That should be good too, hopefully. Wow, that is just pure chocolate. And it's really nice right now because when we stop, it's a little chilly because honestly, we're just sweating a lot. So hot cocoa hits the spot and these are perfect for it. <laughs> no, it's not, no, I'm just kidding. Said 30 minutes, but this next part's pretty steep switch bag. So it probably is gonna take us a little longer. Already so far behind. <sighs> There's four layers as you ascend the mountain from the pine tree area. They're in every direction and you can see all the needles just along the ground as you're walking. Is it normal not to your arms? <laughs> 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 Thought in the second layer of that it was slippery because the ground was wet. It turns out it's just slippery there because you're on a very steep incline. In our third layer here, the ground is much drier, but as a result, the gravel is looser as such, and uh, it's a bit more slippery. I think I see that over there. This is this base camp? It's not base camp, it's a lunch spot. <laughs> <laughs> We made it up to our lunch spot. We have 40 minutes to just relax for a second and warm up because it's pretty cold. Is your sandwich? I didn't realize these were sandwiches earlier, by the way. I thought they were loaves of bread. <laughs> for dinner? Yeah. Or breakfast. So I'm kind of glad that it's just kind of made and ready to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this thing. Looks like a freaking calzone. <laughs> That's huge. Wow. Okay, it's freezing, so time to put on my only pair of leggings. Hey! <laughs> that is so mean. Please don't. I'm trying to hold you. I have about 15 more minutes here. My heart rate is still very high. <laughs> is it really? Let's see, actually. Yeah. When we got here, it was 116. All right, lunch is over and time to get going again. It is much windier, much windier and colder, but this should be the flattest part. Kind of goes up and down. We have about an hour and a half to two hours, probably a little longer. That was a crazy leaving from lunch. Forgot our poles. I do the rain pack on. We can catch up a little bit. All right, our first big like downhill section. I'm really glad we have two sticks each. I don't think our shoes can handle this. Made it to base camp. Best part of the day so far. Good job, man. Thank you, sir. Yes. 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 That's very different from how we build fires. Mostly just because we don't build fires ever. That's base camp. <laughs> we made it. It felt slower than it actually was because he told us yesterday we get here between 2.30 and 3.30, but we did take a ton of breaks yeah. and we got here by 3.30, which to me is a huge achievement because it was <laughs> so difficult. It was literally six hours almost on the dot yeah. with a lunch break and a ton of breaks, but we're alive 
and uh, it's crazy foggy and cold up here right now. So we're hoping that the clouds clear and we can hopefully see the Volcan Fuego. Yeah, we haven't had a clear view of it yet. We got a tiny peak, but then the clouds just rushed in and covered it again. So yeah. we're going to be patient. I just want to see some lava. <laughs> we're going to go hang out with uh, everybody in the covered area because I think there's food. There might be a little wine. And we've heard there might be a surprise appearance from some realm. bathroom tour. I'm surprised we had a toilet up here. It's a loose definition of a toilet, but I honestly didn't expect anything but, you know, like a toilet tree. It's something and it smells really bad, but the coverage around it, very critical for guys because it's really windy up here and uh, I don't need to go into details. But this is the bathroom. There you go. And much to our surprise, we thought we had an individual tent, but I think there's something wrong with one of the tents. So we're gonna be bunking up with a few of our friends we met on the way up. So nice to meet you. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden. Gracias. Real pasta with homemade sauce and veggies, cheese and corn. Mm. Mm. It's really good. Oh, oh look, look. Yeah, you can see it. Finally. <laughs> I just had it going. <laughs> Oh, it's God. We got the wake up call at 3.15 to see if we want to go to Summit. We opted not to because the weather is crazy just like this. And I'm glad we didn't because there's another group that tried and had to stop halfway up to Summit to come back down because it was too dangerous. It was so windy all night last night, but our sleeping bags were so warm. And we kept hearing the volcano erupt. And at one in the morning, it was so loud. All four of us just shot up in bed and like opened the tent as fast as we could to see out. But it was so foggy, so we couldn't see anything. so quickly. Time to pack up. 
I'm happy and a little sad. It's pretty awesome up here. We got to see the volcano and see it explode. It was a good trip. Cold, but good. Hey guys, can you do us a favor? Yeah. Can you just back up our bags for us? <laughs> yeah, sure thing. That's, I mean, you're already in there, so. Okay, it's time to go. The porter's carrying two backpacks. I'm carrying none. It feels really bad. Goodbye, volcanoes and absolutely terrible weather. It was seriously cool. Yeah. Jeez, don't scare me like that. We're about 20 minutes in and it's still freezing. My fingers and toes are completely numb, but it's not windy. It is raining from the trees though, so I'm trying to cover up my camera as it's getting wet to try and protect it, but I don't think I'm doing a very good job. Is he okay? Like, he was right behind me. Do you want me to go look for him quick? We're kind of in a dilemma right now. Our guide Alonzo just disappeared and we don't know where, why, or how. Here he is. We're worried about you. <laughs> we figured you never leave us behind, so we don't want to leave you behind, even <laughs> though you're much more skilled than us. No. We're glad you're okay. I am so happy that we didn't go this way on the way up. There's an alternate route coming down. It saves time, but it's super steep. I would have died going up, but going down, it's kind of fun. Just do a little natural zigzag pattern like you're skiing. It's all good to go. Woo -hoo, we made it. The rest is on wheels. Done. We made it. I don't know how, but we did. And now it's time to drop off laundry and take a shower and go to bed for a little bit. If you had fun trekking with us, hit the like button below. And if you want to stamp your passports with us again, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. In Antigua so far, I almost fell. Is it Akatango? Akatenango. Akatenango. Yeah. We're at the very beginning of our Aka... Akatenango. <laughs> and the ground is a little more damp, so slightly more slippery. Slippery. Slippier. More slippery. Okay, is that good? Oh yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, I think that's good. It looks like you'll be about 10 times warmer than me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we lost uh, our cup somewhere down here. You guys <laughs> Yes! Woo! Recovery. That was not nearly as far down as I thought. <laughs> love you. Hey, love you. Ooh. Great job. Seriously. Oh, we did it! We did it. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts a lot. It was absolutely the hardest thing we've ever done. For me. It was the hardest thing I've ever done. I am like so speechless right now. It is definitely the hardest thing. Like, there's no question. The most physically exerting thing you've ever done.